In today's video, I will show you how to create a vintage halftone pattern effect in Photoshop and provide you a free action when we're all said and done. So the first thing first is we're going to hop into Photoshop and hit Command J to duplicate our layer. Go ahead and name this layer Red Halftone. It's going to be the first channel of three that we're working with today. Then go to Filter, Pixelate, Color Halftone. Now we're going to set this to four because as you can see, we have to have a value between four and 127. So just leave that at four and then set the channels to 108, 162, 90, and 45 all like that. Then go over and change the fill percent to 35% and then double click on the layer to bring up the layer style dialog box. What we're going to do in here is turn off the green and blue channels to just leave the red and then option click in the blend if slider to separate those uh, parameters and set it to 0 slash 100. Then hit OK to accept these. So what we're doing here is we're just knocking down where this is going to be applied in the dark areas of this layer. And then we're also just um, only allowing the red channel to show through, as you can see, when we toggle on and off the layer. All right, we're looking pretty good. We're about a third of the way there. We're going to hit Command-J to duplicate this layer again and then hit, <laughs> then rename it to Green Halftone. We're going to double click on this and turn off the red channel. And you guessed it, just turn on the green channel. We're going to leave everything else the same because that's what we want. Then finally, we're going to hit Command-J. Uh, third time, third time, second time, man, I'm bad at math, and name this blue halftone. Double click once again to bring up the layer style dialog box, and you guessed it, turn off the green channel, turn on the blue channel, hit OK. Now this is pretty much setting up our halftone uh, effect here. We're, we're almost there, but what we're going to do is go into the channels, and then if you hit Command and click on the top layer, that RGB layer, it's going to cr uh, create our marching ants. It's going to make a selection of the highlights. Then go add a new curves adjustment layer but while you're on the layer mask hit command i to invert that we want to select uh, the shadows of this image then go and change the blend mode to hard light what we're doing here is we want to bring up that black point and this is just one way to do this there's many ways to do this but we're going to bring up the black point bring up the midpoint a little bit and we're going to drop the highlights and you're going to see what this is doing to the image uh, essentially we're kind of creating this more flat uh version of the image and that's typically what you see in these vintage effects everything's kind of washed out and just for shits and giggles i'm going to go into the blue channel and raise the blue on the the shadow ends just a little bit and drop it in the highlights so this is pretty much it i mean in a few steps here we're going to create this effect and when you're done with it you're going to shift click everything group it and we're just going to call the group vintage halftone so this is exactly what the free action down below will do for you but we can take it further from here, you don't have to stop right here. So it's a pretty harsh effect. So we can change the opacity uh, to 50%. And you can see how, you know, it's going to knock down that effect a little bit. But for this, for, for YouTube purposes, we're going to leave it at 100%. If we hit V on the keyboard, that'll bring up the move tool. And with these different layers selected, we can uh, shift click with the arrows to move those by 10 pixels, I believe. And it's going to create this kind of vintage offset, like 3D um, effect that you sometimes see in older offset like printing and I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see there's green on his right side of Sean Evans head and then red on the left side and that's just one way to kind of further emphasize this effect if you hit V again and hit 5 it'll set the opacity of whatever layer you're on to 50% so this is a before and after 50% um, for this image is a little light for me so I'm gonna put that back to 100% just so you guys can see it better in the video and I don't like the offset so I'm gonna reset those and just leave it with the halftone effect. But you can see what you can do with uh, with this action, this free action. That's what it's going to do, but you can take it further. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new curves adjustment layer on top of everything. And I'm going to jump into the blue channel and do what I did before. Raise the blue in the shadows and drop the blue in the highlights. So it kind of gives that kind of vintage washed out effect again. You can see before and after. And oh. So creamy, so delicious. Now I want to show you what the free action will do on a random image. So this usually works good with images that look pretty illustrated. So right here I have a Stranger Things poster. We're just going to run the free action and you're going to see what it does. So for this particular image, I think it's a bit harsh. What I would do here is I would drop it. Uh, let's drop it to 50%. Even then it's still a little harsh. I would go in here and drop it even further. So we're going to drop it to 30%. You can see it kind of, it does add to this image in my opinion. It gives that vintage effect if that's what you're looking for. That's a before and after, and uh, it's so subtle, but it does add a lot in the right circumstance. So there you go, guys. The free action is below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a comment and a like. Thank you so much for watching. Let's do this again sometime.